Hey guys, it's Hannah. Happy Tuesday. And this week is kitchen week. So I'm in my kitchen. And my sister and I decided that we would attempt to make cakes slash cookies slash brownies in mugs. So we did three different recipes. There is a brownie, a cake, and a cookie. And we go through everything, how to make it, and I will have the website where I got the recipes down below along with the recipes. And there are so many other recipes than the ones that we used. These just ended up taking more time than we expected. So when they say they're five minutes, they're really about 25. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. And I will see you guys next Tuesday. Bye. So we're doing this now. I'm making a brownie mug cake and I have an ounce of chocolate chips and a tablespoon of butter and I'm supposed to microwave this for 40 seconds. And while that's microwaving, I am, okay, I'm waiting for the mug, but I need two tablespoons of sugar. And it's, it's because I'm nervous. There you go. That's basically what it's gonna look like. And then, and then now I am adding two tablespoons of sugar. One. Two. Oh, but it smells good. It's just got a weird consistency. consistency. Yeah, that looks disgusting. It looks so strange. <laughs> and then half an egg, which I have here. Then one tablespoon of flour. Okay. And because it's low enough in the bowl, I'm not concerned about popping that it would mess up the microwave. <laughs> so I'm going to put this in for a minute. Do you know that brownies were invented by Abraham Lincoln in 1983? It smells like brownie. Did a weird thing though. No. Okay. So we are going to try this now. Where are the forks? Okay. We're going to try it. The mug is very hot. Okay. But it's so hot. <laughs> it's hot. This is what it ends up looking like. So hot. It's so hot. It looks weird, but it does taste like a brownie. I would give this one three out of five stars. Three merit faces. We are now making or attempting to make a s'mores mugs cake. So, in this cup, I have a tablespoon of melted butter. And I have a bag with three mini crushed graham crackers that I attacked with a measuring cup. And I'm going to measure out three tablespoons and add it to the bottom of the cup with the butter. Three. It looks like I did a little bit too much. So maybe we can it. Okay. Now I'm supposed to mix it together. And now I am attempting to use the spoon to press it down into the bottom of the mug. This is... Basically what you want, it's got a little bit of butter right there, but it'll evaporate. Okie dokie, now I do something. Chocolate and three tablespoons of milk. So I have milk right here and chocolate. 
chocolate. So we need a fourth cup of chocolate. Dump the fourth cup into the bowl and my four tablespoons of milk. Oh. And I'm gonna put this in for 30 seconds. The microwave was invented in 1901 by President JFK. It has a little bit of bubbles in it. Do you want me to tilt it down? Does no. that help? It's got a couple bubbles in it, but it's pretty melted. Okay, now we're going to add a fourth a teaspoon of baking powder, three and a half teaspoons of flour. Put another tablespoon of milk in, and then this is what you're left with. Okay, and then you put the chocolate on top of the graham cracker crust. Now I'm gonna put this in for a minute. Did you know that milk was invented in 1370 by, by cows. cows. Did you know that graham crackers were invented by a man named Graham last year? Good for him. Did you know that strawberry and chocolate marshmallows were made by people who hate their kids in 1812? Ooh, this one turned out cakey. Okay, now we're gonna put the marshmallows on top. The strawberries that have been dipped in chocolate cute and also strange. to get through this because it's got cake. Here, you go first. And the layer at the bottom. Do I look like I'm done? No, I was just being nice. Yeah, of course you're being nice. This is my cake. I think this one, well, might turn out to be the best one. Okay. Cool. Now, I'm going to hot mug to get through this. With the sticky marshmallows of doom. <laughs> Didn't get much graham cracker crust. No. So the mug is a little dark on the inside, but marshmallows, cake, and then down here is the graham cracker crust. So while Merritt is over there dying, I'm going to give this one a four and a half out of five stars. Straight up. It's actually really good. I give it a same. Whoops. <laughs> this falls on my fork. Okay. Hey guys, and we are back. It's me and two of my little sisters with my other little sister behind the camera. But we are making a sugar. We are making a microwave sprinkled sugar cookie. So, first thing I did was I melted a tablespoon of butter. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray the inside of this mug. Okay, just so the cookie doesn't stick too badly, even though, thank you, we are making it inside the mug. And now I'm going to take three tablespoons of flour. 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 Can I crack the egg? In a second. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. One. Two. <laughs> Three. Three. That's right. Now I'm going to take two tablespoons Three. of sugar. 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 One. Ooh. You put in one egg. She asked first. One whole one, one and a half. Wait. Yeah. It says one egg. Okay. Now we are going to stir it all together. Until in a second. 
I gotta make sure the flour flies out until it becomes a dough. This is the consistency that you want. It's turned yellow, which is normal. Yeah, which is really normal. So half of a tablespoon is one and a half teaspoons. So I'm going to put the sprinkles in. Sprinkles gonna fly all over the camera. Be gentle, Rainy, okay? It's very pink. Okay, so my little assistants have left because they were being a little difficult, but I'm going to add the last bit of the sprinkles, which is actually quite a bit of sprinkles. And there are sprinkles all over the kitchen now. I'm going to microwave it for 50 seconds. Okay, now we're going to try it. I guess I rolled it too well. It's hot. <laughs> Just like an egg. This one turned out more of a sponge cake <laughs> than a cookie. Mm -hmm. So I would give this one two stars yeah. out of five. Because it did, there's that, and it doesn't my cookie. It doesn't taste like it a doesn't cookie. It doesn't taste feel like, like a cookie. Doesn't look like one. Does not look like a cookie. And it's pink. But that's the fault of our sprinkles. Yeah, the fault of our sprinkles. So that's exciting. But this was the last recipe I'm gonna do. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.